Okay, so this video is about the C47 bezel that goes on top of the Swiss Micro DM42. I got this recently um, at the C47 uh, website. It's a, it's, there's a little dent here, but that's fine. Other than that, it's really nice. Um, as you've seen other videos, it is perforated where you can um, definitely peel this off and then paste it on there. Um, one thing, I haven't done it yet. I'm having, I haven't made the DM42 permanent to a C47. I probably will. Um, some people say that you really don't need this um, bezel because if you really look at it, it's possible. Um, you know, uh, like solver is equation, um, F, <laughs> the integration sign, well, this was not integration, matrix, matrix, stat, stat, base, base, convert, convert, flag, flag, probability, probability. I don't know, it's a little bit hard to see. Um, assign, assign, uh, custom, this one's user, and FCN, that's FN, print, print, setup, view, show, show, program, program, cat, catalog, on, off, right? This is the shift button and so forth. Flags is over here. Flags is over here. And that's flags there, I guess. Or maybe that's FLGS is something else, probably. Alpha is over here on the top. Um, then you got sine, cosine, tangent, which is nice. I've seen the R47, which the uh, sine, cosine, tangent buttons are not buttons, but they're sub, sub buttons. I thought that was kind of weird. Uh, yes. Um... Then y to the x, y to the x, x squared, x squared is on the top, the anti-log, e to the x, and gto. And then you have the letters a, a, b, c, d, e, f, which is the same ones that are, that are here. There's a question mark, there's a question mark here. Um, so what I've been doing recently, I'm just putting it on. And then what I'll do is I'll put it here like this and then take it with me. The thing is, sometimes when I, when I, you know, like um, take it out of the sleeve, let's say I have it this way and I move it like this. Oops, it falls, right? And I know some of you are like, well, it's not meant for that. You have to glue it. Yes, I know. Exactly. But I don't want to glue it on yet. I've, um, I've tried these. Pixie dot points. Um, they're like soft little um, paste. And I try to put it here and that didn't work. I thought maybe there was a way. And I don't want to, you know, crudely tape something here. Um, so, you know, for the time being, I think it's going to be like this. Some people will use a, a toothpick to go underneath the this this like printing here and then take that off and then glue this one on top or some people will just glue this one on top of uh, on here and there you go okay so let's look at this a little bit more closely right and some of the things for the c47 so far what i've used so far and we can turn this on um, um <clears throat> you can see these shadows definitely point to these uh, menus, these function buttons. Um, X to the square root of, or the X root of Y. That's really neat. I like, I like that button there. Um, one thing uh, for clear, you have to press it three times. One, two, no, two times to get to the clear function. I don't know why. It would be nice if it was just one button. 
but fine. Okay. Uh, there's probably a reason for that. Uh, stats, probability, and so forth, plot, test. It's really nice. The color and the, yeah, the color and the font reminds me a lot of uh, some calculators. Here's the 20S. Unfortunately, I don't have a 42, 42S just yet. But here's a 20S. Um, I think this one doesn't have batteries at the moment. Mm, I don't think it does. Let's see. Oh, it does have ba some batteries. Okay. All right. Well, there it is. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, and I'll try to be faithful in terms of the white balance on this video, but it's a pretty close replica. Of course, the the fonts or the colors on this um, brown color might pop a little bit different, but, uh, but it's a very close replica of the colors. The fonts look a little more Crisp. Well, let's see. If you look at the X here, it's like a little nice little cursive X. Do we see anything? Is there an X? Yeah, there is an X right here. And it has, it really does have that font look, doesn't it? That's really nice. Here's X squared. There's X squared here. Um, it looks very similar. Look at that. That's really nice, isn't it? You really look at the colors and if you're interested in the 42 wow it's almost like a, a 20s in size now my favorite calculator or hp calculator has been the uh, 48sx probably the best calculator and of course there's improvements on this but if you look at the colors it's a little bit more muted in terms of the blue and the orange. Now, it's possible. I mean, this is, this is uh, what, 30 plus years old. I bought it new. Um, but the blue and the orange definitely is different. Definitely is different color. Um, and you can see that it's different from the blue and orange for this calculator which is different. Um, the font almost looks the same. I guess it's the same font. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the 11C, this is an original 11C. It's been around since the 80s. Um, you can see the orange and the blue they definitely have a different color than this one and a different color from that one. You can tell. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? They all have a different type of orange. I like this one because I've worked with this all my, more than half of my life. This is a nice color, actually, a very nice color scheme. I'm wondering what the R47 will look like if they have a hardware version of it. It's going to be very, very interesting. Um, this this font looks more refined. This one's a little bit thicker, it looks like. The orange is really nice on that one. So is that one. This one looks a little bit thicker, the 20S. And, of course, the C47 looks really nice as well. Um, this, I'm not sure how old this 12C is. I think it's one of the newer ones because the, I don't know, the button is nothing compared to the, this wonderful work of art, the 11C. But this one, you can see that the colors, the blues, they're not as, they're a different type of blue and, and this almost looks like red, red orange, different type of color way different um, but again you can you can see the difference in it 
and um, the bezel right here, right, is really nice. And I will probably change that. This yellow, by the way, I mean, it's okay. Would have been nice if it was a different type of yellow, maybe an orange color. And the color of the of, um, of the calculator would have been nice if it was this color. But who knows if, if that was even possible to do, um, if that would be an infringement and in copyright. But you can see that there's a there's you know supposedly a C47 the operation of it um, you didn't ha you don't necessarily have to have the bezel to work on this uh, the the M42 calculator but it's really nice I really like it I will probably paste it um, it is nice and cut very nicely um, I don't see any real issues with this. Um, I'm sure I've seen some people put it on and they're very happy with. I am I am definitely happy with this. And like I said, at the moment, I'm happy to just leave it like that. Eventually, I'm going to have to change, change that. Okay. If you have any questions, uh, please put them in the comments section. Um, I hope you have a great semester. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.